what lies in store for you. There's so many things to see and do. Summer, winter, spring, or fall. Your home in the Rockies has it all. So get up, get ready to start your day. The coffee's brewing, you're on your way. The fun is waiting outside your door. Good morning, Vail. Happy Saturday, snowy morning, everybody. It is Good morning, Vale, and I just want to make sure everybody is very aware of the road conditions. This morning, the snow must have been blowing all night long. All of the road signs are covered, so be careful and make sure you watch the road signs. Even though they're covered, I'm sure you know where you're going, but just take it really slow. It's definitely fishtail road stuff going on out there, so I just want everybody to be super, super careful on the roads this morning. It snowed all night long, and we have a lot of snow in store for us today again. So I'll get to the weather in a little bit, but I just want to let you guys know, please be super safe. And of course, all of those snowplow drivers, thank you so much for being out there on the road and keeping us safe. I have some congratulations for several people this morning. First, I want to congratulate Dogs in a Pile. If you recall, we had them on a couple of weeks ago before they played at Agave, and their show was amazing, and they are amazing, and I just want to congratulate them. Their interview with me reached over a thousand viewers here on TV. Now that's something super big and it's also on our YouTube page and they're going to have a residency for Denver for over a month and we will be giving you information as to the shows coming up and they're going to be playing with great groups that we all know like Runaway Grooms and so much more and we will be giving away some tickets to the upcoming shows coming up so stay tuned to TV8 to find out when we're going to be giving those tickets away and so you can join in on all the fun and see how great Dogs in a Pile are. Another Another congratulations goes out to Eagle Valley lacrosse team. They won last night over Vail Mountain School's game, and they did a great job. So congratulations, you guys. You did a great job. And also our very own Michaela Schifrin. She placed 86th wins. Okay, so that makes her tied for the Stenmark for the most World Cup wins, and that's just incredible. Super duper locals that we have here and all of the congratulations go out to all of us from TV8. I also want to congratulate Miss Maddie, second year in a row. She's going to be hosting Project Funway, which comes up on the 1st of April, and that's going to be magnificent. It's her second year in a row. She did such a great job last year. They're having her back. It's anything but fabric. So they make clothing out of pretty much anything you could possibly use your imagination for. And that's what they go down the runway in, and it's a lot of fun. So that's basically what is going on right now and then we also have a play for all of our Battle Mountain High School kids. It's Mamma Mia coming up everybody and they are going to be performing from the 23rd through the 26th of this month over at Battle Mountain High School. You can go to bmhsplayers.com to get your tickets. They're only $10. That's it and we have a great show in store for you this morning. We have Ann Pasquale and Scotty Pippen from the Little Bluebird Cafe over in Gypsum. Brand new place. They're going to create something special for us and let us know all about that wonderful experience that we can all have over there at their cafe. They're super entertaining and great people so we're going to have a little time on the sofa and a little time in the kitchen with both of those guys and they're making their way slowly on the roads here. So be safe on the roads and now we're going to take a look at the weather today to see what we are in store for. I can tell you right now, a lot of snow. We have 90% chance of snow showers today. By 8 a.m., 30 degrees, 37 degrees for your high. Morning snow, partly cloudy this afternoon. And then the winds will be west 10 to 15 miles per hour as we get through our day. And the wind, of course, makes it feel a little bit colder than it really is outside. Snow showers throughout the morning, partly cloudy skies, and we will have 35 degrees as of noon and 4 p.m. By 8 p.m., 30 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Taking a look right now over in Denver, we have partly cloudy skies and 53 degrees, 37 degrees in Vail with a 90% chance of snow showers. Same in Eagle with 42 degrees and same in Avon. Lots of snow showers this morning, everybody, 35 degrees. Your overnight load tonight is 27, 60% chance of snow while we sleep, and winds 
southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour overnight. Taking a look at the week tomorrow, 70% chance of snow showers, so expect a lot of snow throughout the weekend. 20% chance of snow by Monday, 40% 40 degrees for your high and 23 degrees for your low by Tuesday. Partly cloudy skies. It's going to get nice and warm in the middle of the week, everybody. 44 degrees for your high and 34 for your low by Wednesday. More snow showers. 46 for your high, 30 degrees for your low. And then by Thursday, 70% chance of snow showers. 35 degrees for your high and 16 degrees for your low. Now that is a look at your weather. And now we're going to take a look at your snow report right here on TV8 Vale. In the last 24 hours, we have had... This resort report is brought to you by Sun and Ski Sports, your new mountain sports headquarters. In the last 24 hours and 48 hours, you can see we've had a lot of snow, 8 inches. That's amazing. Season total is 264 inches, which is a record. 58 inches is your base depth today. We're talking about Beaver Creek. Your lift hour is 8.30 to 3.30 p.m. And let's take a look right now and see what the lifts are open. 25 for you guys today. We have 163 trails, which is 98% of that terrain in Beaver Creek growing by the day. And that is what looks like at Beaver Creek. And now taking a look over in Vail, nine inches of snow in the last 24 and 48 hours. 285 inches is your season total snowfall. 70 inches is your base depth today. In Vail, your lift hours are 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And of course, we have 33 lifts open for everybody. 275 trail, meaning we have 100% trails available in Beaver, or in Vail rather. That's incredible. We have so many great things to do out there today. Enjoy the snow, but make sure you stay in bounds. Don't strike off any avalanches, and please be careful on the roads. And when you get out there, just have a fantastic day. That's a look at your snow report and your weather right here on TV8. We'll be back with more after this. TV8 Vale are thrilled to announce the upcoming launch of Good Day Vale with me, CeCe Zach, as your host. 
Through sharing expertise of locals, we will help you live your best life in the Vail Valley. So please join us to enhance your daily life. Good morning, Vail! It's not every day we get the opportunity to chat with people who are really in the know about a lot of things that are taking place with the workforce right now and how not only employees but employers are feeling. And so we're very lucky to be joined by Raghu Krishnaya this morning. Thank you, Agu, for meeting with us and taking the time to chat with us. You have a very large role at the University of Phoenix. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me on. And for people who don't know about the University of Phoenix, can you give us a little bit of information? Yeah, absolutely. So the University of Phoenix provides a number of learning and career support opportunities to help everyone try to figure out what to do next in their career journey and to help them take that next step. We're primarily an online learning institution. And so people can take their learning anytime they want, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and, and attend school and, and, and learn and develop new skills. And not only can people get their master's degree through you guys, but they can also get certificates in some areas that they're really interested in. Yeah, we provide a master's, bachelor's, and even doctoral degrees in a variety of fields from healthcare to technology to business. Which is really cool. And so we're talking about kind of workers, employees, employers. And so right now, why aren't workers feeling very optimistic about their career trajectories? So, no, Maddie, we did a survey recently, uh, several thousand employees around the country and several hundred employers as well. And we asked this question about their, their level of optimism about the future of their careers. And on one hand, 80% felt that in the long term perspective, they were very optimistic about their future. But in the near term, a significant portion said they, they were not as optimistic. 52% of Americans said they felt that they were replaceable in their job, and about 40% were worried about losing their jobs. And underlying all this is Americans felt that they did not have the skills they needed to be competitive in the market today and for the jobs coming up in the future. So how can employers ensure that they are helping their workers gain new skills constantly? Yeah, research showed a number of different ways employers can help. What was really fascinating, it said that 68% of employees felt that if their employer provided the skills training for them, they would want to stay with their employer and continue to work and, and be, a, you know, be, be part of that organization for a long term. So I think employers can do a lot to help create these opportunities for employees, different ways in, in, to learn, both on the job as well as outside of the job through formal training programs, such as what the University of Phoenix provides. So having these opportunities available, making it so they can take it online anytime is, is, a, is a big first step they can take. I think the second thing that they should, all employers can help with is when an employee takes advantage of the learning and, and shows that they've completed it and demonstrated their capabilities, employers can actively help their employees find new roles in the companies that fit the employee's desires and needs and help the employees move and take that next big step they wanna take. And how can employees take these steps to ensure long-term success throughout their careers? That's a great question. You now, employees in many ways are equally responsible as employers to make sure that they get the skills that they need and the skills that they want to move forward. I encourage every employee to think about learning as something you do as part of your job, not something just separate from your job, but something that you do and think about and develop and, and build every day. And you could get this learning at work, you can get outside of work, but I encourage them always just to always think about learning and continue to do so. The second thing I always encourage all employees to do is Never stop building your network. Your network's critical for you. And so always look for ways to continue to meet new people and, and learn new things from, from your network. And third, find a mentor. Find somebody you can trust who can be a, a, a guide for you and really a sounding board as you think about taking the next step. And how can people find out more information on all of the programs and classes that you guys have to offer? Yeah, please visit phoenix.edu to find out about all that University of Phoenix has to offer. And for more on the research I shared, please visit phoenix.edu slash career dash institute. Raghu, thank you so much for taking the time to give us all of this great information and making it so accessible for people to join and further their education anytime, any place, 24 hours a day. Thank you, Maddie. It's a pleasure speaking with you. Make sure that you check out Phoenix University. It's a great place for you to expand your skills and maybe take on some new ones to help you feel more secure in your workforce. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we've got more of the show. Good morning, Vail. Vale. 
All aboard the Leadville Railroad. A time for family, friends, hot cocoa, and a relaxing trip. Enjoy our heated lounge cars. View snow-capped mountains. Book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. For fun and adventure, join me on Elizabeth Stanton's Great Big World. Find out where I'll be going next and which celebrities I'll be bringing along with me. I'll show you amazing destinations with lots to explore, and you'll get to know my celebrity guests the way they really are, up close and personal. We'll travel the world, experience new cultures, and together, try to make a difference. I'm Elizabeth Stanton, saying the world's a big place, and I'm going to show it to you. Eight-time Emmy-nominated Animal Rescue is a half-hour television series showcasing the heroic efforts of people helping animals. Join host and award-winning journalist Alex Payne and the Animal Rescue camera crew as they travel around the world, capturing dramatic rescues, rehabilitation, and relocation stories. For programming schedule, check your local listings today. Don't miss your favorite episodes of Animal Rescue. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Eyepieces of Vail has been a fixture in the Vail community for over 30 years. From designer frames and sunglasses to high performance sports frames, prescription goggles and in-demand accessories like helmets, goggle lenses and foldable reading glasses, our inventory raises the optical bar. Visit one of our seven locations today and see why generations of loyal customers return time after time for our unmatched service and inventory. Eyepieces, the art of vision. Time to rise and shine? There's no better way to start your day than with Good Morning Veil Crew. Get your news, sports, weather, dining, community events, and so much more. We'll start your morning off right at 7 a.m. And now you can find us seven days a week. You bring the coffee, we'll bring the fun. Livestream us at tv 8 vilcom or watch us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92. There's more for you on 92. Good morning, Veil! Welcome back to your Saturday edition of Good Morning Vale. I'm your host, Liz, and I'm here with two fabulous people. I'm super excited about this morning. We have Ann Pasquale and Scott Pippen. What's going on, you guys? <laughs> Doing well. Yay. I know you had to wake up and drive on the crazy Mr. Toad's wild roads, but <laughs> I hopefully treacherous. it was not too stressful driving here. They're with Little Bird Commissary Kitchen, and you guys are located in Gypsum, correct? Yes. Correct. And now, you were originally what? So we started in 2018 as DJs and Dahlia's, a right. uh, little cafe, little neighborhood cafe and coffee shop. Right. So you actually started, and where was that? That was located closer here, right? Nope. No, nope. that, that was, was also in Gypsum. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was located in Gypsum. And what made you grow and expand and become Little Bird Commissary? Do you want to take it or shall I? Um, go ahead. Well, so we started off as the cafe and grew into so much more. At night we would have workshops and speaker series and wine tastings and chocolate making classes. Very popular yeah. with the neighborhood and the community. And then in 2020, of course, we had to shut down for eight weeks or so. And Why? We're... What happened in 2020? <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> what happened? Yes. Um, <laughs> but we came back stronger than ever and we still served delicious grab-and-go food that Scott made. Uh, he's an excellent chef. And then coffees, and we expanded our gourmet section. We still held events at night, and then last summer, we kind of decided to pivot again. And so many people were checking in with us, asking to use our kitchen as a commissary kitchen, a commercial oh. kitchen. So we actually had a gal that was doing burritos every morning from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m., preparing them in our kitchen. 
Last summer, we decided to go into a full commissary kitchen, but keep the little gourmet market. We still do grab and go, small amounts of grab and go coffees, and we cater a little bit. I think that's an incredible idea because there's a lot of people that might have a food truck or something that might not have the kitchen. Yeah, and I remember years ago, there was a person that now they're huge, but they were looking for a kitchen and you can't cook out of your home because of all the health pets Absolutely. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. there's so yeah, many absolutely. reasons that you can't cook in your house. Even you might have the most cleanest kitchen, but that is important for anybody that wants to start some sort of food vendoring program. Yes. All of our this equipment is, is NSF, so and nice. we have a walk-in cooler, dry storage area, so there's a lot of elbow room. No. So, so you can have a few people at the same time in there cooking, and then what do they do? They just gather the stuff up and they do whatever it is that they do mm -hmm. with their right. so merchandise. They can, they can prep, store food. Um, <clears throat> then, like, we're getting so much uh, feedback from chefs and caterers and bakers and food truck. They might need it for five days for, say, like the Eagle Block Party that's coming up. Right. Um, or it might be more of a one-off. I just need to make 18 batches of cupcakes oh. for an event. And there are certifications you need and insurance and whatnot. Oh, there is. But okay. um, it's a huge need, and we're so excited and happy and um, just ready to go into the future. I think this is great because, number one, you're really helping a community out with people that are maybe even starting off a little business and mm -hmm. they want to get the kitchen and just start working on their things. And that's the other thing is there's so many small businesses that don't know how to start in the culinary world. Um, we're there to help. We're also an incubator. So we can, if someone <laughs> needs help with logos, marketing, branding, pricing out, ordering from wow. Cisco or Shamrock or Italco. We're there to kind of help them if they need. The more seasoned chefs that are out there, and we have so many in the Valley, excellent talent out there, uh, already know all this. Sure. So they wouldn't necessarily need our incubator services, but we do offer that, and that's different. We want to help grow so you know small businesses here well i mean it can be very intimidating calling cisco and you need to know not only what you need but how much of what you need yeah. and you don't want to over order because then you get stuck with product you want to under order because then people are going to be mad that's a very stressful situation i've actually been in this business a little <laughs> bit like long time ago so i do understand right. but the fact that you guys are here to help people out is wonderful so mm -hmm. you're not only enjoying your stuff that you get to sell and be part of the community with your gourmet stuff but then you're also being there for other people and you're not just trying to take all the attention for yourselves that to me is very sweet and just very endearing because you want to branch out with everybody you don't just want to keep it all for yourselves yeah. now i know you said you have lots of little things going on mm -hmm. tell us a couple of the things you might have coming up that maybe you want to go to you know, like you say you have readings and you mm -hmm. have informational you know things like that so while we're gathering chefs and caterers to sign up for our uh, commissary kitchen another great uh, offering would be food truck fridays we Ooh. do them twice a month there in Gypsum in the parking lot over by Costco. Uh, last month we had Mama's pierogies and churros, Scott DJs. We yes. got permission to have a little parking lot bar. So we offer mocktails and cocktails and margaritas. Coming up on the 17th, we have Rocky Mountain Taco coming out. I love them. They are one of my favorites and I literally watched him start from okay can't cook in our kitchen <laughs> to they have brick and mortar yeah. they have two food so trucks fun. i've so been great. watching him grow and it's been wonderful you know so that's yeah. really cool too and we love to collaborate with yeah. other these small businesses in may we have a pop-up a ramen pop-up on may 19th <laughs> we're happy to talk to any bands that might want to play in our parking lot um Gypsum kind of gave us the warm welcome and wrapped their arms around us and because nice. we need things to do and food and so we want to help accomplish that. Well, we have Alex Brady coming in after you guys to play a oh. song, if you love him. He oh. has a full-on band, Brady and the Bunch. Oh, well, <laughs> so, so maybe he'd be good for this, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Look at me connecting everybody. But this is what yeah. we're all about here in a community. We want to take care of each other and we want to yeah. share the success. And you guys have been successful throughout 
your entire time being with us and taking care of our bellies and all of our palates and everything like that. And I'm really excited because I know that in the next break you're going to do something special for us. What are you going to make? So it's what is an, that cool machine? <laughs> this little uh, Illy espresso machine, and uh, they do pods. The pods are recyclable. We love them. But we'll be making affogato. It's an Italian dessert. God bless you. <laughs> Affogato. Now explain what that is. I had to look it up. She said she was going to make this, and I was like, Google! And it really sounds good. So I see ice cream, and I see caffeine. That's all I see. Yeah. So it's just a scoop of gelato or ice cream, mm. and then a shot of espresso poured over the top. So Skin. you get your sugar and your caffeine rush all at once. I cannot wait. This is super exciting. Now, how do people reach you if, let's say, mm -hmm. I'm a new person that I want to start a kitchen or a chefing, or maybe even get advice on how to make orders and things like that. How do people reach you? So you can go to littlebirdcommissarykitchen.com. That's our website. All the contact info is there. Or stop in. We're, do we're down on Cooley Mesa over by Gypsum. Okay. Right next to or two doors down from Domino's Pizza. And um, we're happy to guide you as much as you want or need. I think you guys are amazing. I'm Thank really you. looking forward to seeing what you bring to everybody as we come. And I'm looking forward to that. Agato? Affogato. Affogato. I forgot it. It's affogato. It actually <laughs> it's gonna means be really cool. in Italian to drown. To drown? <laughs> so we're going to drown ourselves when we come back with coffee and ice cream. <laughs> This is going to be so much fun. And Pasquale and you. Scott Pippen. By the way, great DJ if you ever want to get some fun into your DJ party. DJ Pippen. DJ Pippen. That's right. <laughs> yes. So we're going to be back for in a little bit, and okay. we're going to make this wonderful affogato, and we're going to all share it here in the studio when we get back. And it's Little Bird Commissary Kitchen here in the studio with us today for TV8 Vale. When people think of world-class destinations, they're drawn to a place that provides opportunities for fine dining, shopping, superior lodging, exciting events, and unparalleled outdoor activities. Park City, Utah and Vail, Colorado are renowned destinations for travelers and extraordinary homes for residents. Feature your exceptional products and services in these two luxury communities. Advertise with Park City Television and TV8 Vail. Contact us today. Here at Sun and Ski Sports, we are all about helping you find the right gear for your best adventure. Come explore our selection of skis, snowboards, bikes, clothing, and footwear. Stop by our full service shop to learn more about how we help keep your equipment at peak performance and our assortment of rentals. Remember, whatever your adventures may be, you can find all your gear here at Sun and Ski Sports. Call or visit us in Avon or Dillon or learn more at sunandski.com. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. Lens of the Day is brought to you by Eyepieces of Vail and Goggle Bar, serving the Vail Valley for over 30 years. I love this time of morning because I love getting to talk all things ski and snowboard stuff, and especially if you're going to make your way out there on a day like today where we're going to see that cloud coverage a little bit heavy. It's important that you have the right goggle lens on. So I'm going to talk all things Anon right now. So we've got the Anon Merrick Wave Cell Helmet. Now this helmet has some really cool technology, and it is that Wave Cell technology. You can see it through the vents, those nice little green 
pieces that you see. This is going to help take that compression off of your head and put more of it onto the helmet, making the helmet sturdier and more durable out there on the slopes, which is nice and convenient. Now some other great features is there's this perfect little dial on the back and I really like the noise that it makes as you use it. But this is going to help when you are putting the helmet on to fit it, to make it tighter or just adjust it to fit your head the best way possible. Now I've bought it, brought an Anon goggle with me as well. So I've got the Anon M2 series. This is a little bit bigger of a goggle frame. The reason that I chose that is because it's going to fit more nicely with this helmet. So all you have to do to get that goggle lens on, get it close, it snaps right in. All of Anon stuff is magnetic technology, making it super convenient for you to get out there, ski, ride, enjoy everything. And now let's talk about their magnetic face mask integration. When you're on the slope, and on a day where we might see some snow blow through or whatever the conditions may be. It's really hard when you're jostling with your face mask a lot. So a great way to do that is if it clicks in automatically. So all you have to do, get it close, it snaps right in, and then boom, your face mask is right there. Now the reason that I did this combination is because this goggle, as we're going to just, I'm not going to pull the strap over because last time I did that I really struggled, but this goggle fits seamlessly into this helmet right here, which you can see is going to fit in between the top and the sides, meaning that you're going to have no exposed skin between your helmet and your goggles, meaning that you're going to stay nice and warm out there when you're on the mountain. So this is a really great system, and it's really great when you can take the same helmet company and transfer it into your goggles, only because it's going to give you that seamless compatibility that we all like to see out there on the slopes. Now, if you're in the market for a new goggle or some new helmets, well, then you can make your way into any one of the great eyepieces of Vail locations. They've got six convenient locations throughout our community. We always recommend if you're going to shop for maybe goggles or a helmet that you make your way to the Goggle Bar, which is located at the top of Bridge Street. We want to thank Eyepieces of Vail for bringing you this Lens of the Day report this morning. We're going to take a short break and when we come back, we've got more of the show. Good morning, Welcome back to your Saturday edition of Good Morning Vale. I'm Liz and I'm here with these two magnificent people that I'm really excited about because they're making something called avocado. They are from Little Bird Commissary Kitchen in Gypsum where they take care of anybody who wants to do a beginning chef course or they're starting a restaurant or they want to know how to make their orders. And they also have a lot of really fun events over at Little Bird Commissary Kitchen. Always looking for bands if you guys are out there and you're a band and you want to play for one of their big events, make sure you mm -hmm. reach out. They're also in this Mountain Lifestyle magazine this time around and it's a really wonderful article. You're going to want to check that out. And something else, if you show up at the Little Bird Commissary Kitchen today, you get this. First person to pop into the store mm -hmm. gets a special gift box. What's in it? It's an afternoon tea mystery gift box. Ooh, I'm already excited. So there you go. Just by mentioning TV8 this morning, get on over there. And now, this is the part of the morning I'm waiting for. I just want to eat that gelato, honestly. So explain to us what an avocado is and how people can enjoy it. Yes, so we always start by brewing espresso. You can also use coffee, typically in Italy and elsewhere. You want espresso and then a little gelato. Of course, I have Talenti. Um, just get a scoop. Oh my gosh. Add it to your cup. Of course, it's gonna maybe chef. <laughs> Make it pretty. Make it pretty. <laughs> and then run your espresso. Okay. That's the cutest little espresso that, machine darling? I've ever seen. And you said the pods are recyclable? Mm -hmm. I didn't so, even know they made those. That's wonderful. Let me see. Oh, look at this, you guys. Recyclable pods. That's for through everybody. Illy in Italy. You they'll send you a bag, you send them all back. That's amazing. Um, so once you get your shot of espresso brewed. Yes. So this is something even I could do, I think. <laughs> oh yeah. Even though espresso machines Intimidate me. Just add it to your... Oh my gosh. And so the cream will melt. Look at it, it's bubbling in there. It's bubbling. So you can also add something, something, if it's an after dinner treat, so a little Bailey's. Here Look at this. this. Look how pretty it is, everybody. It looks super pretty, and it's... 
All right. Do I try it while I be yes, climbing on ahead. the ceiling after this? <laughs> Hopefully. Do you eat it with a spoon? Yes. Do it. Though. All right, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> That's a really fun balance. Isn't that yes. lovely? Get the and then sweet, oh the my savory. goodness. Again, this is and it's really low fat, everybody. Imagine a little <laughs> uh, Frangelico or Amaretto. I love Frangelico, by the way. Yeah, this is amazing, you guys. It's an avocado, and we just learned how to do it super quick and easy by the Little Bird Commissary, and I really cannot believe how exciting this is. And as you make the other one, I want to let everybody know they are a nonprofit, and if you want to donate, everyone, this is what you can do. Um, well, I'm not going to hold this up long enough for you to scan on your phone, but there's another way to do it, correct? <laughs> Again, it's on the website, okay. littlebirdcommissarykitchen.com. So Little Bird Creative Community is just an arm of Little Bird Commissary Kitchen. We built this big, beautiful kitchen, and we decided to collaborate with our community market down the road and offer kitchen time subsidized baking and cooking classes and then even meal prep for their pantry. Let me ask you a question. What if I walked in and I don't have a kitchen, but I want to learn how to bake? Yep. We also you can have do classes. it. Can, can you open up your place to classes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seriously? So You're going to teach the classes? Um, not at the <laughs> moment. I'm busy DJing. Okay. Um, through Silent Disco and okay. Diane Moody for I love um, Diane street, Moody, by the street way. performance. Yes. I love her. Great. Joe Ford Amphitheater, we are ramping oh up for the app, everybody. I can't wait for summer. <laughs> so she has me. They, they all have me busy this month. Nice. Um, but we do have some chefs that are coming in to mm -hmm. kind of teach classes, knife skills. We just did um, <laughs> beignets <laughs> and um, We had boys. a pasta making class. Pasta making class. See, so. now that's exciting. I actually learned how to make pasta in this very kitchen. So I do know how yeah. to make pasta. But I'll tell you what. It's great for people. I am one of those people that I walk in the kitchen, I need tissues, band-aids, and a life coach. <laughs> because it just, it, I just, it doesn't work for me. I know Maddie here is not the greatest either in the kitchen. So we could actually come and take classes and learn how to bake cookies or bread mm -hmm. or something like, or even learn how to make a nice meal. Mm -hmm. yes. We're doing them Without twice a month. Crying. Yeah. With uh, <laughs> Chef Alexandra Burns, she's excellent. Um, um, worked under two James Beard awarded chefs, but is bubbly and we have a ball. We all up a, a little bottle of wine or some sake. We made uh, sushi for Valentine's Day yes. date Ooh. night. It was fun. It's good. And so look forward to the future and check us on the website for more info. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't tell you guys. I'm so happy to have you here. We've been talking for quite a while trying to get you guys on, so I'm glad that we worked it out. This is Little Bird Commissary Kitchen, you guys. It's over in Gypsum. You have to check it out. Whether you're already a novice and you want to come see what they do and get their gourmet meals, the chef over here makes those. What do you have? So a little bit of ideas. So right now we have chicken enchilada platters. Okay. Um, I think we have two or three in our freezer. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, lasagna, lasagna, like blocks, bolognese. homemade bolognese. Mm -hmm. We've got some chicken stock mm. and vegan ramen broth. Nice. Well, that <laughs> sounds good. And now I'm hungry, but I won't be after I suck that back down because of the caffeine. But I am so grateful that you guys made your way from Eagle. Roads are crazy, so we really appreciate you guys coming in. And Little Bird Commissary Kitchen is in gypsum and like i said they have a non-profit you can donate learn everything from these guys ann and scott thank you so much thank for being you. here you guys are wonderful us. little bird commissary kitchen right here <laughs> on tv at vale everybody Good morning, that was awesome It's the fastest half hour in television. Toyota's Race Week takes you inside the high-speed world of NASCAR. Go behind the scenes for a look into the high adrenaline world of motorsports and hear from your favorite drivers as they discuss the drive to a championship. If you love NASCAR, you won't want to miss Toyota's Race Week. I'm Tyne Morgan, host of U.S. Farm Report. Join me right here each weekend as we explore the news and issues that matter most to agriculture. We know each year farmers and ranchers are thrown challenges, but as agriculture continues to adapt, 
We are right there with you. From markets to weather, we take a deep dive into what matters most to agriculture and rural America. Join me each weekend for U.S. Farm Report. Timely, trusted tradition. Coming up this season on Ready, Set, Renovate, real homeowners tackle really big renos. Welcome to the ugliest house in the neighborhood. <laughs> wild ride from before to after. If we go to the tile store one more time, only one of us is coming out alive. <laughs> well, I didn't know he was going to do all that. Between the budget That's and the so timeline, good. it's makeover madness. Hi, it's Max from TV Event. We want to invite you all to the Wacky Winter Reading Program. It's open to all ages. All you have to do is read 10 books or a thousand pages. For more information, go on our website, tvavail.com. And thank you to our sponsor, the Eagle Valley Library District. Hi, this is Maddie Evans and you're watching the TV8 Visitors Bureau right here where I'm standing. We're at the Lion's Head bus stop. Now, if you're looking to make your way from Lion's Head to Vail Village, this is the place you want to be because the in-town bus runs here pretty frequently. You can catch it every 10 to 15 minutes on the dot right here and they've got a nice countdown so that you'll know when that bus is approaching and how far away it is and then there's multiple bus stops along the way making sure you get to the right place and all you have to do to request a bus stop in the in-town buses is pull the cord and you're set to get off the bus. Now that we've made our way here into Vail Village, you can go explore all of the great shops and restaurants that they have over here, but there are so many great stops along the way on the in-town bus route. You can stop at the library, or you can stop at the medical center, or you can stop in Solaris. There are so many of them to stop and enjoy, and especially when the hustle and bustle of the town is taking place. Now, if you did park over in Lion's Head, it's really easy. All you have to do is wait 15 minutes, jump right back on the bus, and they'll deliver you to the parking structure. Thank you so much for watching this edition of the Visitors Bureau. If there's anything else you need to know or if you want to see, make sure you contact us and we'll get it made for you. That's been it for this episode of the TV8 Visitors Bureau. We'll see you next time. Welcome back to the show. I am so excited about today. Now I'm all jacked up on an avocado so I can be ready to chat with Alex Brady over here. This is Alex. I met you through the Vale Valley Theater Company's improv. That's right. He's actually one of the funniest people. You're really, really good at it. I don't know. I'm just a beginner. No, I don't care if you're a beginner. You're like brand new and you're looking me dead in the eye. I'm like, oh, okay. I got to work with this guy. But you're super funny. And then I found out at our last improv that you are not only a musician, but an incredible musician. You played a song for me that night that blew my mind. <laughs> and the coolest thing about you is you have a group, a band, and so you're Alex Brady, and it's called Brady and the Bunch. Brady now and that, the Bunch, that's right. That makes me happy, and I hope your album cover has the tic-tac-toe with all of you guys. <laughs> We're still there. working on the album art. We're, uh, <laughs> first, we need to get the album. But, okay, uh, <laughs> well, you will. When I heard that song, I was blown away. How did you get your band formed, and 
how does how long have you guys been together? Yeah, so it started out just at, at an open mic, uh, kind of playing on my own. Um, I knew maybe 10 or 15 songs, and uh, after the open mic, uh, I had played, you know, three of them, and uh, Rio over at Loaded Joe's was like, hey, I want to book you for a four-hour gig. Can you play four hours worth of material? Amazing. And like I said, I knew maybe 10 or 15 songs. Right. And he was like, the gig's in two weeks. Do you want it? And I was like, oh, yeah, I could play for four hours. No problem. <laughs> um, so I went home, and I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? Um, so I called up an old buddy of mine named Corbin, uh, mm -hmm. who also works at Open Mic. He's yeah. a drummer. And I was like, hey, look, man, I got this gig in two weeks. Do you want to do it with me? And the two of us spent the next two weeks every night oh my just practicing music, trying to get up to those 40 songs. That's and, amazing. Um, and you did it? And we did it. We went, we played the gig, and we got another gig. So yeah, you're coming up again. Yeah, so this is going to be our fourth gig together. We added on a bass player, my buddy Adam, okay. and uh, the three of us, we, uh, we're Brady and the Bunch. We've started I writing a little bit that. of original music. Uh, we play mostly covers, but uh, That's okay, we're, uh, we're working on, on building up the original material. And, That's uh, how most bands start. They play the covers, they get the interest, and they get involved, and then they start pulling out the... Yeah. You yeah, know, and that's what we're really excited about. That's what we're going to play today is our, our very first original song. Well, I have to say, I heard, is that the song I heard the other yep. night? It was so good. I kept mm -hmm. saying, it's radio ready. Mm -hmm. I really felt like it was radio ready. I was so impressed. And for somebody that's a novice at this, I'm just blown away. But you've been playing music your whole life? Yeah, uh, I started when I was like 13, yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. Like 13. That was like five, five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> longer than that, longer than oh, that. Oh, really? So what is this song about? How did you come about the lyrics and the verses? So the song is about a dancer Ooh. Um, and um, sort of the um, the the vibe and the um, yeah the the feel that goes with dancing with someone. I'm a very beginner dancer, okay. Um, but uh, this dancer is a very experienced dancer, and so it's a lot of sort of teaching and learning and feeling the music, and I like it's that. just all about dancing. But there's that's really good because dance is passionate, and I have seen. I'm one of those geeks that likes to watch like the shows that so you think you can dance and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they tell a story. So if the dance can tell a story, why can't a song tell a story about the way the dance makes you feel? So that's very incredible. I'm, I am like, I have two left feet when I dance too, so I'm not the greatest either. But that's very interesting, and it just gives you like the feeling of how it feels. Absolutely. I love that. And what's the title of the song you're going to play for us? It's called Till the Morning Light. Till the morning light. So we're going to dance till the morning light. Okay, well, do you want to play for us? Let's go. I am really excited. This is Alex Brady, everybody. He's going to play his original. It's called Till the Morning Light. And I also still have Little Bird Commissary standing by because they have so many events that they're always looking for musicians. So look at me pairing people up right now. Okay, so <laughs> here, let's I, remove yeah, let's this move so we can way. see you play. Because I want to see the chords. <laughs> All right, everybody. Alex Brady. Go for it. You kick your feet with heart and soul. Getting down to the rhythm of rock and roll. Spin you around, our bodies flow. Make me want to lose my self control. Feel the bass line moving through your hips You're all I need Just like a fix A little taste of passion on your lips We're headed to Bridge Street on Friday It's blue moon on tap And I thought you might want to join us there Then maybe later we'll catch an Uber on back and Light my candles and let them burn till the morning light The days are short, the nights are cold I'm tired of doing this 
on my own I'm locked and I'm loaded, I'm ready to go So won't you come and let me rock your world to the morning light The beat breaks down, the end draws near The final verses ring out to our ears I dip you down, you have no fear and I know just what we're doing here We're headed to Bridge Street on Friday It's blue moon on tap And I thought you might want to join us there Then maybe later we'll catch an Uber on back And we'll light my candles and let them burn Till the morning light Man, that is just incredible. Alex, oh my God, that was so good. I told you, radio ready, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. When you say meet you on Bridge Street, is that a local? Lo Bridge Street is, yeah, it's in Vail. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> but I like the fact that you made that a local tune almost. Yeah, I like, you know, incorporating elements from my life. Well, you <laughs> And are, I live up here in the valley, so that's what it's about. You are amazingly talented. I really, I get the goosebumps watching you play. Thank you so it's much. It's really fantastic. I want to know, do we have any time for another song or not? But I can't get enough of you. How do people reach you? If they want to book you or get you guys, I know you're playing coming up soon, Back yeah, at Loaded Joe's. Back at Loaded Joe's, yeah. When's that? Um, so March 16th, the day before St. Patrick's Day. We've nice. got a little St. Patrick's Day theme nice. <laughs> for our I concert. I love that. Okay. Lots of green. <laughs> All right, so St. Patrick's Day, the day before, over at Loaded Joe's, and yep. that's where you can see the three of you guys play. That's right, the whole band. All right, and that's going to be wonderful. And then how do people reach you? Because I can see really good things for you guys. I am not a musician, but I've been in music for so long that I have a good ear, and I really think you have something very special. And yeah. I wouldn't have brought you on if I didn't think so, if I didn't hear you that night. So I really am impressed, and I think well, that's very nice that of you. Wonderful um, things about I, I to happen. I appreciate the plug. You know, we're looking for gigs. If yes. you do want to book us, uh, Alex Brady. Uh, a L E X B R A D Y four four at gmail dot com. Okay. Shoot me an email and uh, yeah, I, we'd love to come play. Are you on social media at all yet? Uh, yeah, we do have an Instagram, Brady and the Bunch. Brady and the Bunch. Yep. Um, I love that. So you can find us there. Okay. Uh, absolutely. Well, I am super impressed by you, and I'm so grateful that you got to come up. And thanks for driving in the crazy weather this morning uh, to yeah, get on I'm over really here. I'm really eager to actually go snowboard right after this. Oh, you yeah, are? I'm go, oh, perfect. Go to so Beaver Creek. I got you're not going stuff. back for a nap. Mm -mm. <laughs> Unlike me and Angela and Scott, we're, gonna go, we're not going to go together, but we are going to go take a nap. <laughs> Alex, thank you again. This is Alex Brady, everybody, with Brady and the Bunch. Thanks, Make everyone. sure you book them for your next big fundraiser or adventure or party or anything basically because I can tell that the energy is there and so is the talent. We'll be back with more TV8 right after this. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. If you haven't seen Good Day Veil vale lately, here's what you've been missing.
I'm Cece Zach, and I'm the host of Good Day Vail, and you can find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 or on our website at tvavail.com and on YouTube. We're here to serve the Vail Valley, and we look forward to sharing our story with all of you. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. Here at Sun & Ski Sports, we are all about helping you find the right gear for your best adventure. Come explore our selection of skis, snowboards, bikes, clothing, and footwear. Stop by our full service shop to learn more about how we help keep your equipment at peak performance and our assortment of rentals. Remember, whatever your adventures may be, you can find all your gear here at Sun & Ski Sports. Call or visit us in Avon or Dillon or learn more at sunandski.com. Welcome to the TVA Weather Studio, everybody. We have a snow-filled Saturday for you guys. By 8 a.m., 30 degrees. Your high today is 37 degrees. And look at that 90% chance of snowfall, everybody. It's been snowing, I think, since yesterday at about 5 p.m. And it's not stopping anytime soon. Morning snow for everybody. Partly cloudy this afternoon. Winds southwest 10 to 15 miles per hour. Make sure you wear your layers today. Snow showers throughout, and then by noon, we'll have partly cloudy skies, 35 degrees. Same thing at 4 p.m. By 8 p.m., 30 degrees and partly cloudy skies. Let's take a look right now at the I-70 corridor. What is going on over in Denver? It's warm in Denver, 53 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Then in Vail, we have 80% chance of snowfall and 37 degrees. 42 in Eagle, 90% chance of snow, 90% chance of snow in Avon as well. 35 degrees and partly cloudy skies. Your overnight low is 27 degrees. 60% chance of snow showers again while we sleep. And taking a look really quick, tomorrow, 70% chance of snow showers, 35 degrees. Have a great Saturday, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to TV8. Home in the Rockies. Hey. 